Okay, go on this way. Oh, you can electrify right now. Even when you're graved, you can electrify Abe. No, please. <laughs> no! Well, here, I'll do it. I'll, 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 I'll do it. I'm going to start a sword back to the entrance and we'll go back to the mansion. <laughs> Funny um, moving it on the camera, but not All right, funny. since you started Guess what? recording, I did. I have to use the peepers. I did so. already. Oh, I did just you? set it up. Hello and welcome to Three's a Crowd. I'm Nathaniel Kiefer. I'm Richard. Thomas is in the peepers room. Yeah, he's in the loo. Uh, so we collected all the stray fairies off camera just because we figured that would be kind of a just a snore fest, and uh, so we've right gotten all clicker. we've gotten all all fifteen stray fairies now, and we're going to head back to Great Bay Coast to get the double defense upgrade, which is what this fairy gets, and then one of us question one mark of us. is going to fight Georg, the final boss, George, of of Great Bay Temple, and then we'll be done for this cycle. It's been a trip, definitely. Do you want an orange unit? I don't know what that is. Uh, it's like an orange soda, but it has like um, uh, orange bitters in it, oh, okay. like uh, from from the rind. Oh. Uh, I'll give it a try. If you don't drink it, I mean, I will. How goes the world? Thank you. Uh, put rip it, it rip it, rip it. I'm gonna put it in my crotch for now. Oh, delicious. Oh. I love. Um, Between my legs, that's what I, I meant. I sure love swamp temperature uh, drink. You know, a cold beer in the lap only works when you're riding a lawnmower. <laughs> I, I wasn't to, like, cool down anything, although I'm a little bit warm in Toasty and Thomas's basement. Here. It is a little, uh, tepid. Yeah, I think I got a hook shot to the very Mostly trees. because we've been playing since we've gotten here yeah. for the last four hours or so. It's just tense sweating. Um, I'm wearing a sweater. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I'm really good. Ekater is jealous because I'm fantastic at homeostasis. Interesting. Uh, but typically yes. I am the source while she is the sick. <laughs> A to very, speak in. That's a very good description. To, to speak in. Oh, I like uh, that. Ther thermodynamic. Keeping, uh, keeping, keeping the water temple theme alive as well. Yeah. What? Well, because you used water terms. No, this, uh, from laws of thermodynamics. I know what the laws of thermodynamics. Okay. Are. I mean, I guess sink Source is. Source and sink is also. I guess sink is where water comes I from. I think this is the great fairy fountain. Oh, this is the hole in the ground. <laughs> Go in. I mean, why waste be, the effort? I be a fairy fountain. Or it's just a dead Okay. <laughs> you fucking killed him, dude! <laughs> <laughs> so what, you kids? <laughs> oh shit! We got bomb shoes! Oh shit, we got bomb shoes! Damn! That's missing all is, that early, is that early bomb shoes? Early bomb shoes. Because normally you don't actually need them until the moon. Oh. Yeah. Do you get them, like, that's the last thing you get? Yeah, it's the la very last thing you get normally. Oh. Can you ice the water here, or is it too soon? I think you can, but there's no point, because I can just hook shot across. Well, I'm just asking. Yeah. Watch out for that bird, he's going to take your sword. Not the same bird. If you kill the bird- I can't bird, trust them. <laughs> if you kill the bird that t that stole our sword there, you actually get 200 rupees as a draw. Oh, really? Yeah. That's no, a way to farm, actually. It's a good way to farm. Once you have like the light arrows, which kill things in like two hits, it's the best. It's one of the best ways to farm. The Twilight Princess, they kill things in one hit. And we'll need 5,000 to get all the hearts. So. We got early bomb shoes. Early bomb shoes. Early bomb shoes? It's not well, that early. You can just buy them. Yeah, you can just buy them. <laughs> it's not funny. Like, it's not like it's early. You can just buy you them. You got them free and early bomb shoes. Well, a single, a single bomb shoe. A single bomb shoe. Anyways, we don't have a Tom Hi! Fight. I we didn't realize we were already recording, we don't have a Tom but that makes sense. This one. Not yet. We were just trying to get back to the boss, which maybe just call Oh, I on. love her. She's How purple. About, since Georg is de de usually uh, considered She's the, got five eyes on too. The, I want to say the worst boss, but like the most tedious boss in this game. Double cheeked out on a Tuesday afternoon. 
What? I don't know what's going on over there. The most frustrating boss in this game, as you were saying. Georg. Mm. Is Georg, in my opinion. Spiders. I mean, there's only really four or five to choose from. Spider's Georg. Um, so I was thinking a nice topic might be uh, most frustrating or most difficult boss in video games. Hmm. I can think of a couple off the top of my head. Anything from Dark Souls. Okay. Uh, There's Thomas's answer. <laughs> how about how about we qualify differently? How about a boss that wasn't the final boss, so you didn't expect it to be particularly difficult, but it ended up being very difficult. Uh, Anything but the final boss from Dark Souls. <laughs> uh, Orphan of Cause. I don't know what he that was is. well. That was the final oh. boss of the DLC. Uh, I guess. So. Yeah. He actually is the final boss, really. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Dark Souls aside, because that game's just... It's kind of supposed oh, to be Oh, fine. Like then, uh, anything from Demon's Souls. <laughs> no, Richard. You know what series. I meant. No, oh, just because that Souls in the name. Fine, then, uh... Um, not Sekiro, soul. either. Bloodborne, neither. King no, not Neo. Kingsfield. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're back! All the way! Uh, difficult, like, difficult because, like, if I was a child... Yeah, I mean, like, any it. boss that had a gimmick. Not necessarily. I still find certain bosses tough. Um, okay, fine, then uh, start us off with one. Okay, I was thinking of the Boost Ball Guardian from Metroid Prime 2. Fuck the Boost Ball Guardian. Uh, I'm, re I'm actually 100%ing Metroid Prime 2 right now on my own. And, uh, I'm, at the, I'm just about to do the final boss. And, uh, yeah, the Boost Ball... Actually, all the bosses in Metroid Prime 2 are surprisingly difficult. Let's see. Uh, Boost um, Ball and Spider Ball are two of the dumbest sections of that entire game. Yes. Probably I like the Spider Ball because it's a puzzle boss, but yes. One of the I Doku know. fights from Ninja Gaiden. The, the 3D one. Those were tough. That was all from the first Ninja Gaiden? No, because yeah. the first one was on the NES. The 3D one. No, I mean the yeah. the first 3D yes, one. Yes, the yeah. ones from the Xbox. Right. Uh, yes. Onwards. Probably one of the Doku fights from those. Okay. That he was um, a pain in the dick. If those are Ryu Hayabusa's uh, side stories, I'd love to know what his main stories are. Sorry? Because it's a guy dead. <sighs> mm, yeah. <laughs> Got him. Uh... <laughs> This is the boss room, yes? Okay. Uh, well, the hardest boss I've ever had to defeat was Capitalism. <laughs> God, you slay me. <laughs> um, Damn, Thomas. I was, also thinking, <laughs> I was also thinking for those of you who played Mega Man, the Doc Robots from Mega Man 3. I have <laughs> Uh, those are like a nightmare. Not just because the bosses themselves are tough, but because of the checkpoints are the, the two They're rooms bad. after you beat them. Yeah. Wow, so you, that's a dick move. So if you die in the next room, which always, almost always has like a, a, a pit drop or a spike yeah. yes. trap, you have to do the boss again. Let me think. Rough bosses. Uh, Airman. I, Airman. I can't, I uh, I can't Airman. defeat. Oh. I, know, I, know the, I know the meme, but I actually found Airman really easy, even on difficulty. He's not, yeah. Which is why he's like, I need to get the leaf shield. And then he's like, I can't beat Woodman either. So it just means he's bad at Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have a very important decision to make here. Who is I, fighting? You said I'm you. doing it off camera. Oh, oh I guess Richard then. Yeah. Because um, we do want to take this to take our entire lives. <laughs> well, our food will be here in about seven minutes. Okay. Wow. Wow, that's speedy. Okay, so this will be a short episode then. Uh, or. Me? I mean, or I could just collect the food and we can keep playing until it's done. Maybe I, maybe I, ta maybe I tackle Georg and you take Twin Mold? So I feel like that'll probably bother me yeah. too. Because Twin, Twin Mold's way, Mold's way yeah. simpler, you just slash him. Twin Mold, uh, I'm oh, not... If, if we're using the Deity Mask... I'm not... Fine. Well, this is the, this is the, um... Oh, we don't have the Deity Mask. Oh, you mean the Giant's Mask. Yeah, that's what I meant, sorry. This won't... Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, this is all underwater and you have to use Whatever. the Sora Mask the whole time, right? This game's old, it doesn't actually bother me that much. Sure. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. You can hit him with the bow, it's just much harder. Whatever. Ugh, I, 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 usually do, I usually do a, a combination of the two. Oh, let's close your eyes. <laughs> it's fine. But anyways, because we have the double defense, we essentially have 26 hearts. So we really should be okay. So things that'll do a quarter damage to you in the first place... We'll register until we hit, get hit twice. Really? Yeah. 
Because it doesn't eighth, and it doesn't measure eighths. I didn't. Well, it does, but it doesn't measure them visually. Oh, visually, yeah. I okay. Say. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, not a lot does a quarter damage as it is, but. Nice freeze frame. God, he's ugly. <laughs> He is a disgusting creature. Um, in the... I probably don't need the Great Fairy's Mask anymore. Uh, in the remake... Yeah, yeah, we have... Does he have a ball on him? No, that's the Twilight Princess. Right? Yeah. In fact, the big eel or whatever? Yeah. That's right. Oh, I missed. Is that the whole fight? No, you can do it from the water, but this is... This is Safer? The, the better way to do it. Oh shit. Oh my god, like that, you're gonna though. die. That took a quarter. That made me panic heart. as a kid. Yeah, it took a quarter, so I would have done a half heart as a. Oh my god. Where is he? We would have been practically dead if we didn't get the double defense. This okay, is so like... he's on that side. You can see the <laughs> bubbles? You can tell from the. Oh, oh this is like the Delago fight, but 15 years earlier. Sure. Don't you mean the Delago fight is like this? There, I stunned him. No, the Delago fight's better. That's not how that works, Richard. It's a chronological thing. There we go. Is he just stuck in the side? Oh, no. I stunned him with the arrows, and then I killed uh, him, hit him, damaged him with the electric. Get up! Okay. Out of the water, out of the water! Well, that's what water. I was asking. I was like, is he just stunlocked somehow in the side of the thing? You could've just... That would've been wonderful, but no. Not, nothing so lucky as that. The problem is I can't necessarily predict when he's gonna ram the side, and when he's going to uh -huh. do that. Um, thinking of man, bosses that are like really rough, but not that you maybe didn't expect would be. Uh, that's it. That's basically the whole boss there. You rinse and repeat that oh, strategy. Okay. Um, and with the arrows, um, eventually he'll start shooting out like like little mini fish. Like at punch first, up, punch up doesn't count. No. That's just and that's basically all boss fight. I was gonna say Cuphead doesn't really count yeah. either for the punch, same reason. Punch out and Cuphead are just boss rushes. Fury for the same reason I would say. See, like Fury I was trying to think of something from like Persona, but oh. once you understand how those games work, it's easy. That and it, every boss is its own tutorial. Something like that. Depends which Persona, but like as soon as you there understand. We go. So we're about halfway. Oh, I was gonna say is that over? Oh no. It's okay, because we don't go in the water. I mean, we do, but only when we go to get him. Another oh, squish. Who's that? We can't. I'm still locked. Oh. But see, oh nobody, my... does, nobody does a heart now. Oh my god. That's so scary. But it scared me as a kid. Um, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah, because like, Persona, once you understand the rules of Persona, you, like, you can't lose unless some know, fuckery know, happens. Which happens okay. all the time, but you know. Yeah. Like, the only times I ever died of random battles there were because they cast instant death and it went yeah, like pretty much. Party. Like, like I said, some fuckery happens. Probably need for that like two more times. There was a, uh... It's not really a boss fight, but it's kind of like a boss fight because you're facing someone. There's a mini game in Star Fox Adventures where you have to tap A really fast to beat someone... <laughs> At a pole where you're like, it's basically a tug of war. Ooh. Um, dude, you had to tap A so fucking fast. I'm pretty good at mashing. Those were never really an issue for me. Our RPG. Uh, That's it. End game or secret bosses are usually pretty tough. Okay, that was way yeah, easier. Yeah, secret than bosses don't count though, because they're supposed to be harder than the final mm -hmm. boss. Because like um. The last boss in Octopath Traveler, I still had it beaten because, of course, it's one of those. Hey, did you level up every single person in your party and get them all of the stuff that you need? No. Well, this is going to be impossible because there's eight characters and you have four p players in a party at a time. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those where it's like, uh, well, it's it's even worse than that because it's like, um, hey, you know the four end game powers you can get? Well, guess what? You can only put those on four at a time and they synergize together. So one of your teams are going to be completely underpowered. Mm -hmm. You have to do all eight at the end? You have to do one fight of just the four, and then one fight of just the other uh, four. So mm. your first fight will be easier. They do something easier. like that in Fire Emblem Echoes. Or your second fight will be easier. Final Fantasy VII does the same thing, because there's nine party members. Yeah. 
It's just... No, no, no. I don't like that. So, RPG bosses that do that are tough? Yeah, um, don't they do that in Final Fantasy VI, too? You, you do that tower... There's, like, that tower defense part where you're on the mountain, and then you split into, uh, like, three groups. I know it's not a boss fight. That's different, but... because everybody's pretty much leveled the same at that point. Right. I don't think I underused anybody specifically, and I think they all level off screen anyway. Oh, okay. Alright, fair enough. I mean, I could be wrong. Hmm. Okay, well, Georg was way easier than I remember. Yeah, Georg, Georg was a baby. Wow, okay. I guess I'm just better at the game than I was when I was 10. <laughs> well, gee. <laughs> I think I took a heart and a half damage total. So um, it's not bad. Yeah, a lot of games where it was like, oh, I was a young I child. I would have taken like four hearts if I hadn't had the double. Anything that, before I learned how parrying really worked, par that needed parry timing? Yeah. Like, I guess Dark Souls doesn't really count there. Uh, oh, in uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, um, there is one boss where you have to actually parry every single one of their attacks. Uh, You're talking like, about Sekiro? No, I'm talking about uh, Metal Gear Revengeance. I haven't played it, so... Where one of the bosses you have to parry, or you won't be able to beat him or fight him. Hmm. Like, it forces you to be able to get good at the, the ability, but it's a necessary ability for the game anyway. It's just, like, they do a lot of attacks. Well, we done did it anyways. With Georg dead, that's yeah. in a great big temple. We have one more little mini-game to do this cycle, because Georg has to be dead in order to do it. So yeah, what's and that's the Beaver got... Brothers, part five. <laughs> <laughs> I think we already did five of them. Four. We four. We did four. Four um, of four, unfortunate, unfortunately. Uh, there it is. It's likely. Is this the River Rapids no. adventure that's again? That's from Links and that's from Links yeah, Now we're now we're playing the Tubin mini game. Shout outs to Tubin, great Midway classic. Shout outs. To so this Tubin. is uh, this is the Fisherman's <laughs> jumping mini game. Uh, the fisherman challenges you to jump from platform to platform, depending on which torch is lit or whatever, and if you win, you get a piece of heart. Which he oh, only, yeah. He only, yeah shows, you beat first. he only shows up here if you beat Georg, so I figured we could do this in the same cycle since we still have a lot of time. But I was worried if we hadn't... That's why I was upset, not because I wasn't... Wor I was worried we were not going to finish, but I was there worried... Was. Man, you know what's really funny about this game? If you play this game... When and you're from a Scandinavian country, one of the bosses is literally just named George. <laughs> yes. <laughs> George. Oh, I didn't make my spider's gear joke. Do I have to hookshot? Oh, you might eventually? have to. Okay, I was expecting... Okay, I was supposed to hookshot the tree. Oh my god. Dude, if you hit or that, the, or the, I, know. I would have been so impressed. Yeah, I, so would I. <laughs> okay, I'll, well, I just have to go back around, I guess. Where are you going to hop up? Oh yeah, just like dolphin you wish. kick to it? Yeah, why not? I believe in you. Yeah, no. Aww. I was surprisingly close, but not a chance. Can you do it? Like, if you I'm do trying. Like, a, a I'm trying! I'm gonna give it a try! Definitely not the tree island. Yeah. Maybe one of the torch islands. Yeah, maybe. maybe. I know what I was supposed it's to okay. do. It's okay, we need to wait for the boat anyways, so you may as well goof around like this. Try and get up there. Can you do a flash kick into extra height or no? <laughs> that was so slow. It's possible to do a flash kick to gain so extra height, but we couldn't. Actually, that might be one of the reasons it's moving slowly. If you if you look around Clock Town, like that, people actually move slower when you invert time. Like especially the postman. So because he he has to make sure his delivery is on. <laughs> So I've always imagined that, like, everyone else is moving at normal speed, and you're like, whoosh, like the fucking flash or something. If there's true boss fights, it'd be easier. Get oh. off and get back on again. Okay. Takes, <laughs> takes off without him. Starts leaving without you again. Is it moving? Backwards. Oh, it's going, it's going backwards. reverse, reverse disease. Okay. <laughs> what is this? I mean, <laughs> How it's, is got this no moving? it's got no propulsion system, so... Is, Magic? It like, is a guy just pulling like a string on the other end? And there's a Zora underneath it. <laughs> uh, it's following follow the, the rules. Be the beavers are inside moving up the yeah. hamster wheel. Yeah. 
It's following Fallout rules where it's just a, a guy with that as a hat and it right. runs across the tracks. Yeah. It's actually a giant. I'm riding on top of his nose or something. Man, I'm trying to think of games. I mean, there have to be like plenty of JRPGs. None spring to mind, yes. but I know they exist. Where like the start of the game is just much SMT4. harder. Yeah. Because oh yeah, any SMT4 any is so stupid. Oh hard the yes, game. SMT4 beating that Minotaur is. But not just the Minotaur, the entire dungeon sucks. I was gonna say Earthbound also starts off like like sharp you start off like that so underpowered tough. that my mom's gonna yell down in a minute. And then besides it's that, just that cool side hook there. Uh, yeah. Besides that, then it's still like, hey, you also have to learn how to talk to these demons, and it's like, All right, I have to discover this first before you can even do anything. No, dude, it's so. Hello, Richard and Nathaniel are here also. <laughs> I'm gonna light the torches. Jump to it. Yeah, so anyways, you, 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 when the torch is lit, you just jump to it. So it's not hard, it it's twice. just a little bit frustrating. You have to do it twice? No, you don't have to do it twice, I think. Oh. Which torch is lit? The one that you can't see. If you fall into your moves. You flub. I believe in you. I don't know how many points I have to get. 20. At least 20. Is that what it said? Yes. yes. I can't. Okay. We have plenty of time. We already have six. It's not about the time, it's about me falling in the water. Okay. What are you talking about, Dumpus? You've already cleared six times. <laughs> what? That was something Thomas said to a friend, Christian. Oh. I don't know who Christian is. Yes, he's French Christian. No. Yeah, he's God's son. No, <laughs> yes. wait, sorry. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's without the Ian. Uh, this way? <laughs> I'm enthralled. I mean, after you hit 20, you can just stand still. Probably. You can put on the dance mask and dance. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Torn. I can't actually because it unlocks my uh, uh, yeah. that's my menu screen. Oh, you should have put it on before you started. You should have put on the crown <laughs> mask. Christ, <laughs> mask. That's it, right? We, we changed it? You uh, sure it was 20? I swear it was 20, but if you want to keep Just keep going, going. I believe in you. Now, if you fall now, does it just yes. clear yes. you completely? No, it takes you out. That's why I'm like, if it's 20, I'll just stop. Oh. Okay, I don't lose points. I just didn't get a Just point. wait. I'll just chill. We'll find out one Two way or another, right? Time. So. Yeah, I know they. They make it easier to. Longer well, I'll just wait. Cause if we needed twenty, we're good. If it was twenty-five, we'll be upset. <laughs> if it's twenty-five. <laughs> I'll do it. Okay. Wow. All right. That's it. That's it. We did? Oh, okay. Yeah, we did it. Why do you do it twice? You don't need to do it twice. Thomas said twice. I was mistaken. Oh. That's it. The idea- he, he mentions that he, the point was he was trying to rip off tourists because he didn't think anyone could do it. Yeah, he so just said he'll go bankrupt. Yeah, I'll go bankrupt now. Yeah, because most people aren't the hero of gosh darn time. Yeah. I mean, he'll still be able to rip people off if he can't do it. Just place them a little further. The sad thing is, of course, is just that move the islands. any other cycle, he won't he won't defeat New York, so he'll never open oh. the business. I was going to say, the sad thing is, he's trying to rip off tourists who made it to that weird island. Oh, no. Anyone who can make it to... here. Anyone who can make it to that island can do the torch jumping game. <laughs> well, that's the end... That's it in this cycle, we're gonna pause it on rupees, and we've defeated Georg. You know what really okay. chaps my ass? Okay. I bought Richard a coffee, and he just used it as a light stand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, I didn't out. finish the coffee that I came in with yet. So what's the what's the time on this? It's 5 o'clock. I'm not asking what time it is, I'm asking how long the episode is. Uh, 2838. Dude, it's so 40. weird. I went up there to get the food. Yeah? Expecting, fully expecting it to be dark out, and it's still so bright out. Well, yes, wow, that's why I have daylight savings time. It's so savings. weird, I'm not used to it yet. It's not, no, I know. We're recording in early, early March, morning. by the way. Uh, okay, that's it then. Uh, so Is thank there you very much. There's nothing else we can do this cycle? No, that's it for this cycle. Alright. Uh, we will see you on the next cycle. 
And I will leave you with these words of wisdom. Don't name your son Georg. <laughs> Son Georg. <laughs> or, or else a boy in a green tunic will kill him. <laughs> or something. So I was gonna say, why one one? <laughs> he needs three. I'm sorry, sorry. I'll, I'll leave you with these words he of wisdom. To Deposit all your rubles. <laughs> Alright, we're good. There we go. Capitalism. Spiders Georg. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Don't swallow 10,000 spiders from a cave. Almost a thousand. Let's say I don't need a thousand to get a heartbeat. You need five thousand to get a heartbeat. Fuck, Fuck that. <laughs> nope, the Vettel's gonna grind it, because he needs to. Yeah, I'll grind it. It's okay. Okay. It's actually a really easy place in the game to grind it, in I can There's okay. one spot where, like, re-deads respawn over and over again, and you can just, like, spin slash and they each drop 20. There's, like, five, and you can just keep re-entering the room and get, like, a hundred rupees. So time. then we're walking away and playing a board game <laughs> or something while the that's, that's, like, the last, that's the very last cycle, though. That's